What about the charge that momentum has declined around organizing OFA and otherwise? Well, okay, I can only speak for me. And what I see is um, the opposite. I see people out in their communities talking to each other. Here in Ventura, we have a local organizer who's been involved forever who shows up every week at the farmer's market in Ventura and talks to people and tells them about health care reform while he's collecting cans for you know, the local food bank. That's where it starts. It's in the community and it's not just on the internet and it is people talking to each other. And right. that's how it caught in the campaign. And that's how these issues are being dealt with now. The thing that interests me is what gets more people involved in the process uh, in having a, a larger, fuller say in the decisions that matter in their lives. Okay, mm -hmm. that's that's my uh, compass. That's what I aim for. I'm with you um, on that, and, and I think most uh, of our viewers are with you on that. I suspect, and and um, one of the reasons why uh, I spend all my time uh, writing and working in this internet politics space is because I actually think that it puts a great deal more potential power in our hands uh, to be self-organizing and acting on our own behalf. Um, the Obama campaign, I think, lifted a lot of people, trained them, gave them uh, the opportunity, if you will, to start acting on their behalf as well. So part of my critique is not only at Obama for deflating hope and for uh, making choices that I think were c too compromised, uh, given the potential that he displayed. It's also on uh, whether people connect with each other. And my, my one complaint about OFA, 13 million people on an email list is the, the way the, the party hacks look at this thing. They think this is a gold mine. And what I see them doing is getting in the way of this great small d democratic potential for people to connect to each other in action when they're, they're getting these marching orders. Uh